Okay, now, back to the fingernail. Uh, how do I want to create a fingernail? Well, I just extruded this inwards a little bit. Probably going to want to scale it a touch. Right? Let's scale it in a little bit. Now we're going to go... here. Okay. Now we're going to rotate it like this. And then we're going to move it. Let me see how we're going to move it. Uh, let's, can I give it its own local? Yeah. Moving out here like this. Now we come in. We go to edge mode. No, let's go to vertex mode. Um, show end result looks like. That's actually not a bad fingernail for a zombie, huh? Okay. Now we're going to go and do it for the rest of the fingers. Hopefully a little bit quicker now, huh? So we've already got a pretty good face in here. Um, I won't have to really cut too much more stuff. So let's go polygon. Let's go click, click, uh, extrude. Okay, right click. You know what? I want to try something. Control Z. Control Z. Alright. Click, 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 click. I mean, I'm doing the same thing to all of these, really. So I'm wondering if I could do it as a group. I know I can extrude you guys there. Let's pull you in a little bit. Alright. Okay. Now let's go scale. I scale you all down on your own, right? Good. Now let's go right click, move, move you all up a little bit. Now we're going to go rotate, rotate you all back a little bit. And then we're going to move you again, kind of this way, right? Yeah, but I think I might have rotated you guys too much. So let's go back to rotate. And we'll 
rotate you guys back down a bit. This. And then move. Yep. Alright, and we got all of our fingernails done. With one exception. The vertex. Grab this point. And move you out here. Grab this point. And move you out here. I think these are going to end up... Oh, what's going on here? Ha. Ah. Strangeness this evening. show end result and we got some pretty gnarly looking fingernails for a zombie could subdivide this a little bit more but that'll be taken care of by the texture at least we have a little bit of an indent there came out much nicer on our thumb not really sure why maybe I didn't push it in far enough Let's see. Take off show end result. Let's go um, here, polygon. Here, 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 here. Maybe if I pull it back just a little bit. Huh? Let's see what show end result looks like. Is that better? Yeah, a little bit. Very good. Okay, now let's get to work on the body. Um, unhide all. The next thing I want to do is work on the sleeve. Okay, so take off show and result. Um, you know what? Take this off. There's something else I want to do. Uh, just for now. Give me all of these guys. And we're going to move you all down just a little bit. So that's going to give me better access to some of these faces. Oh. And move you forward a little bit. There we go. You need better access to some of the faces that are in there. Because there's two things I want to do here. One is ignore back facing. Come here, 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 and here. I do want to extrude this, but I want to extrude it inwards. Oh, nine minutes. I'll be right back. 